operations by Indian Navy have pushed back Somali pirates, a major part of the ocean infested by pirates, considered as high-risk area earlier, is now considered safe. Shipping industry is benefiting extensively due to the persistent operations by the Indian Navy. In this video, Defense Updates is providing viewers details of one of the most significant contribution of the Indian Navy towards world peace. Number 5 Somalia had descended into total lawlessness and political instability with the start of its civil war. Piracy off the coast of Somalia has been a threat to international shipping since the second phase of the Somali civil war, in the early 21st century. Starting from the Gulf of Aden, piracy became rampant in Arabian Sea around 2007. As they increased their reach to the East Arabian Sea, the entire west coast including the exclusive economic zone of India, an area of the sea which can only be used by India for economic reasons, was declared a high-risk area. Around the region there were more than 100 documented pirate attacks in 2008 alone, which resulted in more than 40 ships being hijacked. Number 4 Piracy in high seas is simpler than many of us can imagine. All is needed is a gun, an aluminum ladder, and a motorboat. Then they just have to wait for commercial ships to pass by. Best of all, you don't have to worry about your targets shooting back. By international agreement, civilian vessels are not allowed to carry guns because governments don't want armed ships moving from port to port. The pirates get most of their weapons from Yemen, but a significant number come from Mogadishu, Somalia's capital. The best defense against piracy is speed, but because most commercial ships are not designed to go fast, pirates don't have any trouble chasing them down. Number 3 Merchant ships had to sail hugging the Indian coast, which resulted in longer travel distances, and more spending on fuel. Also, insurance cost was much more as the waters were considered unsafe. It is estimated that the global shipping industry were losing whopping 23,000 crore rupees a year due to this menace. According to Reuters, of the 3,500 captured in this period, around 62 died. The causes of death included suicide and malnutrition, with 25 of the deaths attributed to murder. In some cases, the captives have also reported being tortured. Many seafarers are left traumatized after release. The increasing threat posed by piracy had caused concern in India, since most of its shipping trade routes pass through the Gulf of Aden. Number 2 Indian Navy pressed into action, and about 52 ships were deployed to patrol the waters. On 21 November 2008, BBC News reported that the Indian Navy had received United Nations approval to enter Somali waters to combat piracy. Here are some of the operations conducted by Indian Navy. 1. In November 2008, INS Tabau sank the pirate mother ship after it failed to stop for investigation and opened fire instead. 2. In 2010 December, the pirates had hijacked the Mozambique flagged Vega 5, and had been using it as a mother ship, a base from which they staged several attacks between East Africa and India. In March 2011, a patrol aircraft spotted the vessel while responding to reports of a pirate attack. When the Indian ship INS Kalpani closed in night, the pirates opened fire and tried to escape. But their vessel caught fire when the Indian Navy returned fire. Pirates jumped into the sea from the burning vessel, but all 61 of them were captured. All 13 crew from the fishing boat the pirates were attacking were also rescued nearly 1,100 kilometers off southern India. 3. In late March 2011, the Indian Navy seized 16 suspected pirates after a three-hour-long battle in the Arabian Sea. The Navy also rescued 16 crew members of a hijacked Iranian ship west of the Lakshad Weep Islands. The crew included 12 Iranians and 4 Pakistanis. Indian Navy along with other navies are able to contain the threat to a large extent. The contact group on piracy off the coast of Somalia, established in 2009, 
brings together a diverse but necessary coalition of states, international organizations, the private sector and civil society to fight piracy together in a coordinated manner. After 2012, with situation improving drastically, India sought for a review of the high-risk area marking with it. The international bodies agreed to India's efforts to push back the high-risk area from 78 degrees east longitude to the 65 degrees east longitude. The new boundaries came into effect on December 1, 2015. Number 1 India has been paying special attention to the upgradation of its navy in the last decade. It has invested in quite a significant portion of its military budget for the purpose of developing a Blue Water Navy. A Blue Water Navy is a maritime force capable of operating across the deep waters of open oceans. The Defense Security Service of the United States has defined the Blue Water Navy as a maritime force capable of sustained operation across the deep waters of open oceans. A Blue Water Navy allows a country to project power far from the home country, and usually includes one or more aircraft carriers. The operation against pirates though seems technically easy, but is not so. Pirates prowl about 2 million square miles of the ocean. That's a lot of water, and even with thousands of ships on the high seas, it's possible to sail for days without seeing another vessel. Cleansing these waters from pirates, show the capabilities of Indian Navy in carrying out search and engagement operations in high seas. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting. Kindly provide your feedback in the comment section, this will help us improve.